Hey man, guess what I just got? All nine seasons of the Gilmore Girls. There's only seven. Yeah, but not if you count John and Kate plus eight and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two. What are you doing? Well, I heard that if you have a terminal illness, you don't have to write your exams. First of all, I don't think that's true. And second of all, what terminal illness are you trying to get? The worst terminal illness of all. Can't- Diabetes! Diabetes isn't a terminal illness, man. Isn't it? The word die is right in there. Die isn't a lot of words. Oh yeah? Besides die? Give me four. Uh, diet? What about my diet? Did you forget what we were just doing there? Did you forget that I'm dying right now? I really don't think that you're dying. You laugh now. I'm not laughing. You laugh now, but we'll see who's laughing when I have diabetes. And I'm pushing up daisies. The rest of my class is pushing up Fs. The rest of your class is probably gonna be just fine because they took the time to study, which you can still do if you put down the bunny and pick up a book. I'll help you, man. Like, what time is your exam? 12. It's 11.57. Let's talk and chalk. Let's. Even if diabetes was a terminal illness, which it isn't, and even if you could catch it in the next few minutes, which you can't, you're still gonna fail this exam. You're gonna fail this friendship if you don't start giving me some support soon. I will give you some support. First of all, cranberries are more of a healthy snack than a diabetic sugar bomb, and English muffins? If I was a doctor, I'd probably say, you have diabetes, you should eat more whole wheat English muffins. Well, time for plan B then. That's not gonna give you diabetes. Yeah. Nor will it turn you into a cat. Then consider it a side project for the beatus. The kid is beatus. It's not gonna give you diabetes. Name four famous cats that don't have diabetes. No one can name four famous cats. Name four famous cats who've ever failed exams. Cats don't write exams. By the way, when I die, I want you to finish my novel. It's called Diabetes, the Shaky Killer. Nobody wants to read a book about diabetes from a guy that doesn't have diabetes, Dave. I think you're confusing diabetes with Parkinson's. Maybe I have that too. You don't have that because Parkinson's does not give you jazz hands. Follow-up novel. Diabetes and how it affects who you thought was your best friend. I think I just got an idea for the third book. How to how to cook with diabetes and f coal. Yeah, I'm just gonna actually take the Gilmore Girls back to my house. Wow, that is low. Lower than my blood sugar. Your blood sugar is fine. Listen up, smarty. Just because you're jello, that I'm gonna be getting diabetes nest quick doesn't mean you have to act all Windex original about it. Did you mean to say nuts? <laughs> That's molasses. That's a loaf of Italiano bread. That's a smoothie. Sweet baby Jesus, you actually have Windex. And boy, does it taste good. I don't know much about diabetes, but I imagine if you had it, they would say things like, you should eat English muffins. <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> like I'm looking for approval, and I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you to tell me if it's Windex. <laughs>